Aren't you the cutest thing? Yeah. What? Mm -hmm. Oh, the cats. You're hissing at the cats, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, you're leading my life, yeah. How can you leave when he's kind of cutie pies saying hello to you? Yeah. I can't get anything done. No, I can't. <laughs> yeah, I should pack my bike, but I can't. <laughs> Morning from Montenegro. This is the day I leave Montenegro, if we can get through the Albanian border. But first, I'm gonna check out this view that, uh, and this road that my new friend here in Montenegro said that I absolutely have to check out before I leave the country. So I've stayed here for a couple of nights near the border of Albania and seen a few places. It's a beautiful country and met very nice people at my Airbnb. The hosts, all of them were just incredibly nice people. The guys showed me some places, some restaurants. Uh, so I had a nice time here in Montenegro. A nice change for to have some people to talk to and uh, not just travel alone as usual. So right now I'm traveling towards the point I was suggested and to the road I was suggested to see. But even on the way, the views are incredible, as usual. So where I'm going next is, next is Durres. These local Montenegro guys, uh, one of them lives in Albania and uh, I believe he reserved me a hotel there and it's like 15 euros a night and it by the pictures it looks uh, quite incredible so I will believe it when I see it it looked way more expensive from, from the pictures and uh, wow the views are just uh, getting incredible and there's even a possibility if I get bored to go to, to, from Durres to Italy with a ferry and it takes only one night and it's not too expensive with a motorcycle and a cab in less than a hundred uh, direction, so... Wow. <laughs> he wasn't kidding, this is just... On the way, even, it's... These views are insane. Wow. Wow, I'm even having this feeling inside my stomach, like I'm standing on a ledge. It's all drop-dead gorgeous. Oh my god. Can't believe it can't believe I'm still in awe even after a week or two in these views I am still amazed every time and if you're scared of heights like I am a little bit this is not a place for you <laughs> this is just I have to stop the bike for a moment to take a picture because this is just wow look at that Oh, let's just put the bike here for a moment and I'm going to stop the GoPro because this is useless for now. Oh, just, can you believe that? And this is not even the place that he said I should come to. This is just on the way. We are close to it, I guess, but... Oh... Wow. This is Montenegro, you guys. Just incredible. Whew. I have to say, this is already <laughs> meeting my expectations and surely surpassing them. Let's see what's on the other side, because he said it would, it would be great. Even better than this, I guess. And this is actually an official viewpoint that I looked up from Google Maps. 
Wow. Kind of nice, isn't it? Let's park the bike and see. See how it looks from up here. Wow. But these are ruining the view. Hi. <laughs> Okay, bye. <laughs> Met some nice people from Canada. Not surprising that they are nice, <laughs> I guess. Let's see if we can make it through the border checks with our kind of suspicious papers that I'd made myself. <laughs> catch that dude and see where he's from. At least he's got a lot of stuff on the bike. Oh, you can't see. The letters are too small. Maybe on the video it could be. Could be apparent. But it looks like a GS. So maybe it is. Maybe it is a GS. It actually sounds like a one cylinder. So maybe it's not a GS. Let's see if he's going to Albania as I do. He asked if identification for bike or not, do you know? Uh, Only probably, for some, probably something for the bike too. Uh -huh. Yeah. Hi, you put on your camera with a... Uh, how you can put on your camera? Just press it here. With a finger? Yeah. You, you can? I can feel it, yeah. The border, it's boring. Very boring. <laughs> yeah. The third row. Yamaha. Yes. The guy was going to Turkey and he was from France. Driving a Enfield Himalayan. Cool looking bike. Heavy setup but <laughs> very cool looking bike. He has so many bags and uh, extra fuel and all kinds of stuff on the bike. Yeah, this is Albania now. We got through. I had to show them what is the registration number and what is the mark of the bike again. Pretty much the same same thing on the previous border crossing. Nothing, com no comments or no arguments against it. <laughs> Kids are waving, so way back I only have one border crossing to go to get to Greece which is my like end destination to this trip but of course the trip is not over when I get there I still have a lot to film and a lot to show and I'm gonna do the Tet in Greece and uh, probably gonna do the Tet in Albania as well when I first get uh, my stuff in the hotel the guy in Montenegro said that the police is very strict about speeding here so I'm trying to do quite closely to what is the speed limit and they said especially on the motorway 
where the speed limit is 80, only 80. If you do 100 there, you're definitely getting a ticket. That's what they told me. But they also told me that uh, the police can take uh, coffee money, if you know what I mean, and maybe let you go. And if you get a ticket in Albania, I've been told you need to be in the courthouse for waiting for one day. <laughs> the whole day just sitting there to get it sorted out. So that's probably worse than the actual ticket. You lose one day just sitting there. So that's not something I want to do. I love those sounds of the single cylinder. I miss the BMW sometimes. It was a fun bike. It was so honest and simple. The problem is I only have five euros in my pocket, so that's not gonna be enough. <laughs> I'm gonna probably go to jail if, I just, if they stop me. <laughs> oh, I need to drive according to the law. Of course you don't ever bribe the police. Of course. I'm just joking. <laughs> I am patched bandit, but I'm always abiding the law, always, strictly. <laughs> we bikers usually do, we drive exactly the speed limit that's allowed and uh, we do everything by the book. That truck is sl <laughs> slowly dripping load onto the tarmac and I don't know what, what is that? Is it such sand or? Is it something more serious? Just close your lid and go past. Can go. Because something was dripping, something wet. That's the that's the thing. I don't know what that is, what he's carrying. But I almost drove to that Mercedes that I'm following. Because that is so slippery. I don't know what it is, but uh, I had no traction. The ABS kept kicking in and I <laughs> almost rear-ended that car those two trucks were dripping stuff and looks like that third one is too I don't know what that is but I don't want to drive behind those because I'm gonna breathe it I'm gonna get it everywhere and I, I have a, my suspicion that it's not only water look it's totally dripping as well Maybe they're carrying the same stuff. It's 28 degrees Celsius in Albania. I'm starting to feel the heat now. <laughs> okay, you can feel it even in slow speeds like 50. You can feel it burning through the jacket. It's so hot. At 100 kilometers an hour it's fine, but these speeds you are baking. It's like a sauna. Just one more video before I get there. The earlier road that was way, way better than this one. Wider, less, all, all kinds of things like cows on the road. That was 80. <laughs> now this is 90. Now where's the point in that? <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> it's not bad. The roads are okay, but... Uh, the smallest amount of traffic creates the craziest situations here and uh, the speed limits are absolutely bananas. I have been wondering during this trip that I have had one too many close calls on some situations. Of course you, you can't avoid them completely, but if you have five of them every two weeks, it's too much. One of those times it's gonna hit you. So I'm going to have to be way more careful. But all of those close calls have been with the car. So driving in these conditions is, the, I think, the most dangerous place to drive a motorcycle. And driving Trans Euro Trail is actually super safe. Because usually when you fall there, it's from a standstill or some safe sandy spot. And there's no other traffic. But here, where there are absolutely crazy people driving cars you have to watch out for everything anything can happen and I've seen a lot <laughs> but let's hit this last six kilometers and 
check into the hotel. I'm just gonna stay behind the steel wall of uh, I don't know what that is. <laughs> you be my bumper, sir or lady. Pharmacy, don't need that. Not in here because in here you can't buy pills with the European papers. I need to go to Greece to get my last. I, actually, I have to go to Greece in two or three weeks because I need to get more of my medication there. Hopefully I can. Even though I'm super tired, I'm gonna show you the room anyway. I have a crazy haircut, you know. <laughs> it gets so warm on the way and so humid. So I'm all, all over the place with the hair. But yeah, I have a hotel room. It looks pretty nice, quickly glanced, but uh, it's not great. It's 11 kilometers from Durres, so pretty far. Not like I can walk anywhere, basically. Wi-Fi works great, so that's nice. There's the bed. It's not perfectly clean. It's a little bit iffy. The pillow sheets were a little bit uh, dirty. And look at the walls here. Like, what is all that? It looks like there's blood and some splatter and uh, I don't know. These things are not, just put some paint on it. Like, wow, why? The air conditioning works. It... So yeah, this is the toilet. I have no idea why that button is missing or something is missing. Something is missing. And uh, well, all this is quite a nice, but uh, <laughs> I don't know about this situation. Uh, new tiles maybe. 25 euros, it wasn't 15 as I was told. So 25, it's not even that cheap considering the local prices. So I'm gonna be staying here for one night and one night only. And I have an Airbnb for from tomorrow to the next week. So I'm gonna be in that Airbnb for a whole week. It looked nice, it had nice, nice reviews and it's close to the beach, very close to the rest. So I can basically walk anywhere. So it's way better. But I'm gonna still stay here for one night. Look, all these walls are, <laughs> there's all kinds of different uh, splatters and stains everywhere on the bed sheet and even on the pillow. There, look, some kind of a stain there and it doesn't look nice. I would give this hotel two out of the out of a 10 so far. So even though it's cheap, I, I don't like, this looks like someone was murdered here. So <laughs> I don't, I don't really like it, uh, but I don't care for one night I'll sleep here, but if I would have to stay a week, I don't know. I would maybe even take a tent instead. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. Tomorrow, Airbnb, that's gonna be nicer, I'm, I'm guessing. So that's it for today, bye.